John Chaffee is a very bright young man. And through his uh, achievements towards the end of the last century, he mirrored the outstanding work of Guglielmo Marconi a century earlier. So like Marconi, he took a still uh, immature scientific theory and brought it to fruition in a product that has benefited all of humankind. I've been involved in communications for, for a long time and uh, have always had interest in the copper wire. The perception has always been that one needs a fiber to go to higher speeds, but the actual piece of copper itself has a very high bandwidth. I'm Tom Starr and I've been working on DSL technology for ages and in this work I work with uh, John Chiaffi in the development of the uh, ADSL and VDSL standards and also uh, we have been co-authors on uh, two books on DSL technology. As a uh, researcher and professor at Stanford University, uh, John perfected some concepts based on a rather abstract theory called information theory, which is not well understood by many communication engineers. And through it, he uh, developed a product that outperformed all other competitors and thus became the standard of the industry. There's a whole group of us, including some of the former Marconi fellows, who look at trying to transmit through limited bandwidth uh, media. And the phone line is probably the most challenging. There are a billion phone lines around the world, uh, roughly, and no two of them are the same. And that was the key challenge in trying to get at DSL to try to get high speeds so that video or high speed internet or any other uh, high speed broadband applications um, would traverse those phone lines is to understand those differences. He was the source of several of the big ideas that made DSL the success that we see globally today. Uh, the fact that uh, that uh, John Chofik was a uh, founder of Amati is an important element in the celebration of, uh, of his innovation because not only did he invent something but also he, he saw to it that it was brought into the world. I've been told from the beginning that I was wasting my time that they were going to replace every uh, every uh, copper twisted pair in the world by a fiber. Uh, the original estimate was it would be done in 89 and then someone told me uh, at, at, at a company that has been one of my biggest supporters over the last many years, SBC, someone there at Pac Bell, which was absorbed at SBC, told me in 1991 that it was in the five-year plan. I'm wasting my time on DSL. They will never ever deploy a single line of DSL at SBC because they're going to put fiber to everybody's house. Uh, so I'm still waiting. It's 16 years later uh, on that and they're they now have seven million customers from whom they're happily collecting revenues. One of the things that sets uh, John aside is that his prominence in both the academic world as well as the business world. And he has, you know, one foot in, in the business uh, field and then is also uh, well respected in the academic area. And this is, this is so rare. Uh, and I think I know why it's rare. Uh, it just is too demanding, you know, for most people to uh, be prominent in both fields, but uh, I think I know John's uh, secret uh, for success and that is that simply he has twice the cognitive bandwidth of most people and three times the stamina. The specific technique DMT uh, is essentially one could think of it as your AM radio um, uh, that you would tune at a different stations or different frequencies, different channels on the AM radio. So if you're on your radio dial and you heard kind of a noisy station coming through, there's less information and you'd be less likely to rely on that particular whatever's being said if you can't hear it very well. So you can think of DMT and the underlying technology is called bit swapping as kind of the inverse of Robin Hood. Robin Hood, of course, everybody knows him. He robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Um, if we think of those radio stations as being rich or poor, actually what we want to do is rob from the poor and give to the rich. In addition to the ideas he generated, he also coached others who uh, stimulated more ideas that have gone into DSL. 
I'm one of those people who's never really completely content in one space or the other space, so I, I, I almost have to do it to, to keep my sanity. Uh, we actually spent a tremendous amount of work doing a very detailed level of simulation work prior to actually putting the prototype together. So a person who's had profound influence on me throughout my career is Professor Tom Kyleth at Stanford University, who uh, was my PhD uh, thesis advisor, has nominated me for just about every award I've uh, ever received, and has been an investor in companies I've uh, been involved with. I, uh, of course, am, uh, continue to work with uh, about a dozen PhD students at Stanford, uh, some of whom are working in the, uh, in the DSL kind of newest um, idea. Uh, area. I've also uh, just a few years ago started a company called Adaptive Spectrum and Signal Alignment, uh, but at the acronym for it spells out my wife's name, Asia. And we have been looking at a number of methods, uh, essentially software methods that can be used by phone companies to significantly increase the speeds and reduce the costs uh, associated with, uh, with DSL. So with ASEA, we've um, worked with them to create a dynamic spectrum management solution. And what that will do is allow us to optimize our deployment for our project light speed and our broadband to ensure that we have uh, high bandwidth delivery to each of our end users and to eliminate impairments. Some people say that the Marconi uh, Award is the Nobel Prize for telecommunications. And uh, in a sense, if you look at the people that have, uh, and the contributions uh, of the people that have won the prize, uh, there is some truth to that. I worked for a couple of years at, uh, at IBM, and I got to know Gottfried Ungerbach fairly well through those years. And of course, I've continued to know him over, over the, uh, the years and have always enjoyed our discussions together. Uh, Dave Forney, I've known for probably 20 years, and we've collaborated on a variety of different projects and always enjoyed uh, working with him. I've, I've known uh, Paul Baran for a few years. Um, Marty Hellman, who the encryption is, is, has been an investor in just about every company I've, I've been in. He's, he's made a ton of money, haven't you, Marty? The, uh, <laughs> on those investors. I hope, the, I hope the next one works, too. Bob Lucky's one of the fellows. I've known him for years and worked with him on a few uh, projects. I was at Bell Labs for a while. and was in the group that he basically started. You know, he's a great coach, and like a good coach, he always has a plan. Never ever give up unless you're convinced you're wrong. 